words can be. Hey guys, it's Katie. Welcome to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing another reaction video. You guys seem to really enjoy these. I'm actually enjoying filming them. Really, really seeing the books that I have owned for a few years that I still haven't got around to reading. And I do want to read like the oldest books on my TBR, so this would be really, really good for me. So today's reaction video is going to be to my June book haul number two from 2013. Six years ago. It's crazy to think about things like this it's like yeah mental so you'll be watching the video along me it's going to be up here also the tally of read to unread will be at the bottom if i have read the book i'll give you a thumbs up if i haven't i'll give you a thumbs down if i'm not sure i just won't react at all but the tally will change at the bottom with the sound when i've researched it during the editing process but yeah so i haven't watched this video beforehand so i have no idea what this video is going to entail but i'm very, very excited all the same to watch it with you guys so i'm going to click play in three two one the first official book that i'm going to show you is called earth star and it's by janet edwards and this is the second book that is after earth girl which i will just show you a picture of there i do actually have earth girl on my kindle but i haven't got around to reading it so when i got this in the mail i was a little bit excited and now i really actually want to read earth girl but this doesn't actually come out until august this year and this is about a girl called jara and she is one of the unlucky people who is born with an immune system that cannot survive on other planets. She is derided as an ape by the rest of the universe and she is on a mission to prove that Earth girls are just as good as everyone else. So really so you should be excited to read this. The second book that I'm going to show you is another review book and this is called Forgive Me Leonard Peacock and this is by Matthew Quick who is the author of the Silver Linings Playbook. Now, I haven't actually read the Silver Linings playbook. I have seen everyone literally haul it and review it and say it's absolutely amazing. I don't know why I haven't got around to it. Maybe it's because it is really, really hyped at the moment. So I might just like read it at some point later in my life. But this is released in August as well. And it's about this boy called Leonard Peacock who is 18 years old. And he wants to say goodbye to his really, really good friends because they are the friends that have made him feel like a really good person. So it does sound like it's going to be a really, really great read and maybe one of those like happy, sad sort of reads that is going to like pull at your emotions and shove it around. But I'm really, really in the mood for a book at the moment that is like that. The next book I'm going to show you is another review book and this is called The Arrivals by Melissa Moore. This is released in July and she is the author of the Wicked Lovely series and this is like a different book completely. It's about this girl called Chloe. She walks into a bar and then she sort of like wakes up and finds herself in an unfamiliar world called the Wasteland. She discovers people from all times and places there and no one knows why they arrived there or if there is a way out but there is like monsters and creatures there. So it does sound like a really, really great read like of like mystery and suspense and like fantasy all involved in one book. So I'm looking forward to this. As I say, I have read the Wicked Lovely books, like the first two books in the series, but that was like years ago. So I might like reread those at some point. The next book is another review book and this is called The Edge of Nether by J.A. Redmersky. Now this is a new adult book and I've had so many good things about this book and even on the back it says it's the hottest novel of the year and I'm just looking forward to this book so so much and it's about this girl called Cameron who has always known that she wants to have a less ordinary life and then tragedy strikes and she boards the next bus leaving town. On a journey of self-discovery she meets another lost soul called Andrew Parrish who harbours his own dark secrets. I want to read you now! Oh! Oh, I should, I should never. I will read you. Yes, I will. Super, 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 super excited about this one. I just want to read it like now, but I want to read them all now. This is a tough decision. The next book is also a review book, and this is called Atom and Eve by Jeff Yeager. This is a futuristic book about this 16 year old boy who ends up collapsing one day. He's in a coma, and there's this flu thing going on in America, like everyone's pretty much catching this flu. And then there's this drug that has this weird side effect thing going on, so I'm just like, okay, now I want no more. But this front cover, I absolutely 
a door and the publisher also sent me an Atom and Eve pen to go along with the book so 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 thankful I got those but I'm looking forward to reading this book. The next two books are also review books and they're together the first and second book which is Witch Struck and Witch Fall. Witch Struck is the first book, Witch Fall is the second. And these books are based in the olden times, as you can tell by the covers. And it is, as you may think and believe, witchcraft books about a girl who has those witchy sort of powers. And it actually does sound pretty good and I have heard really, really good things about them. So I'm looking forward to reading these. And the final book that I'm going to haul to you guys, this is called Grey by Melissa Darnell, it's the first book in the Clam series, and the second book is called Covet, and the third book is called Consume, Consume isn't actually released yet, but this book actually does sound really good, it's been on my wishes for like ever, and I managed to get it for really cheap from a seller on Amazon, and it says on the back here, Blood, Lust, Magic and Forbidden Secrets. Savannah is back in Taylorsville, high after a life-threatening illness, and she's feeling more like a freak than ever. People are looking at her differently, staring and giggling, except the golden boy Tristan Coleman, who suddenly can't keep away. Savannah's falling under his spell. So now I just want to know more about this guy called Tristan and everything about this book. So there you have it, guys. Those are the books I've recently... So there you have it, guys. Those are all the books <laughs> from that reaction. So, six books. And one, two, three, five. Yeah, I think five out of the six were review books. So, so bad. That's when it's embarrassing when you've got it for review and you're just not in the right frame of mind to read those sort of books, sort of thing. Like, I can tell you that um, I think Earth Star. I can't remember Atom and Eve, but I, I don't know if I don't. I just can't remember. And I feel like Arrivals. Like there were some books that I didn't request, and they got sent unsolicited. And this is what happens. But these do still sound like really, really good. So I still will get around to reading them eventually. But now I've watched this. I can see those books and they're gonna just be bumped up higher on my TBR. I probably should change this bookshelf to be honest, like to all these books really, so that I can just pick and choose from those books. It's what I should do really. So yeah, so if there's any of these books that were in today's reaction video that you guys have read or that are on your TBRs, let me know down below in the comments and we can start a conversation about it. If you guys have enjoyed this reaction video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up so I know you guys enjoyed it. All of my social media links will be linked down below in the description if you'd like to follow me elsewhere. But that's it for me guys, thank you very much for watching my videos as always. Keep smiling, keep reading and be happy. My name is Katie and I'll see all of you, wonderful awesome people in my next video. Bye!